welterweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Donald Cerrone. Well, he's never held a UFC title, but he has every other record he would like to have in the UFC. Most wins, most finishes. He is the perennial contender, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And this recent form he has shown since becoming a father, arguably the best of his story career. The very best Donald Cerrone we've ever seen. And the reason he has so many records is because he's a guy that really embodies the term anybody, anywhere. You bring an octagon. Put it in the middle of an arena and invite Donald Cerrone. He will show up and he will give you a fantastic performance. Donald Cerrone is every man's favorite fighter, and rightfully so. When he has faced adversity in his career, he has come through with flying colors. See the win over Anthony Medeiros that stopped a skid. Donald Cerrone with momentum back on the proving ground here tonight. Well, the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I got to be in the first row behind <laughs> the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas. They come in groups. They want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself, trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. He won two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation. He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Cerrone is five years the elder. He is four inches taller. McGregor will have a one-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 15 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Donald Cowboy so And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Potter. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Yeah. All right, here we go, round one. Donald Cerrone, Conor McGregor, the man with the most wins and finishes in UFC history versus the biggest superstar the sport has ever seen. Cerrone's got a pretty good reactive takedown game. Do you think he's going to try to take McGregor down tonight? If Conor overextends, Donald Cerrone does have that ability. He changes levels, he runs a great double leg, and once on the ground, he's a very, very good submission artist. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job. All right, going for the early takedown, he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He time. felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Unable to connect with the right hand there. McGregor gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management what better than the takedown. All right, 
so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, that's a nice strike. Left hook, right hand. Oh! All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that right hand is on point. Cerrone gets another takedown. That's been there all night. Oh, and he's back up again. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. McGregor gets in the clinch. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just missed with the left there. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. John does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Punch over the top. What a body kick. Take it down, cut him. Take it down, cut him. Over and over to secure these takedowns. from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope to follow him, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, so both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Ooh, what a punch. Unable to connect with a right hook. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Cerrone gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there disguising his entry. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level of grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. That knee might have landed there. So we lean on the numbers here. Oh, man, as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, oh my God. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, it can get the night that one landed right on the spot. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Knee to the body. Man, what a fight. Under a minute now to go. Wow. 
Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Ten seconds to go. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. This corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to come. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough kick. He's a young Cerrone gets up. He is back on the feet here. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Cerrone's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are. At Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Many of these have landed with authority. 79 total strikes have landed for Donald oh! Sloan. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to fight to end the night. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Back to the feet. Oh! He's working. Serves him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for a pick. He's out! Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 51 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! Well, there will be no shutting out.